Hello, my name is Ebony Smith, and today I will be discussing the research that I conducted this summer while attending the MIT Summer Research Program. The topic is motion prediction associated with autonomous vehicles. Over the past two decades, car companies have begun developing and researching autonomous vehicles. As the technology continues to progress, a question regarding improvement arises. How can an autonomous vehicle predict the movement of other traffic participants with high accuracy? While studying the opinions of consumers, three main concerns that arise are that they wouldn't feel safe, they don't want the car to make mistakes, and they wouldn't trust the autonomous vehicle in mixed traffic. Therefore, if the autonomous vehicle is able to make accurate predictions of the movement of other traffic participants, it could improve its decision making and decrease the chances of an accident, which will alleviate all three of those consumer concerns. It could also influence other commercial car companies to begin investing in autonomous vehicles without fear of liability. Other research groups have taken a different approach that I plan to take while studying this problem. This research group in particular combines priori probability with posteriori probability for behavior prediction. This means that in their experiment, they combine the use of the probability of an action occurring without prior knowledge of observation with, in conjunction with the probability of an action occurring with knowledge of prior observation. The mathematical prediction method that I propose is SIMPLS regression, which is a form of partial least square regression. First, I will collect historical data that will be divided into two parts, the predictor or Z variable and the response or Y variable. After dividing this into two parts, our relationship between these two parts will be extracted. After extracting out this relationship, I will then collect data for only a portion of the time horizon, which is represented by Z sub S in the diagram. And Z sub S, in conjunction with that relationship that was extracted before, will be able to predict Y sub S, which is the remainder of the time horizon. The data set that I plan to use to conduct this experiment is provided by Waymo, which is a car company that designs their own autonomous vehicles. This data set is comprised of nearly 2,000 segments of video feed of 20 seconds each that shows the autonomous vehicle driving through a diverse set of conditions and geography. In addition to that camera data, it also includes LiDAR data, which is data that uses a laser to detect range and distance. The flexibility of motion prediction of other traffic participants is that this experiment could rely solely on the camera data or it could be used in conjunction with the LiDAR data. And the good thing about using the Waymo open data set is that there is already processing in place that tracks the different traffic participants in the environment, as shown in the picture to the right. SimPLS regression could serve one of two purposes. First, it could serve as a solid foundation to finding a more accurate approach. This means that although it does make predictions, it's not more accurate than the pre-existing methods. The second purpose that SimPLS regression can serve is that it is the most accurate prediction method and is more accurate than the pre-existing prediction methods that are already being used. And this could take into account variables such as acceleration, trajectory, and et cetera, in order to predict the motion of other traffic participants. Although this research topic has been studied in the past, I plan to implement a, a prediction method that is the most accurate prediction method that is being used. The autonomous vehicle's ability to accurately predict the motion of other traffic participants will allow it to coexist and work in its environment and act accordingly to, depending on the motion of other vehicles. I would just like to acknowledge Professor Wynn, who works within the Aeronautics and Astronautics Department at MIT, who introduced me to this project. I would also like to acknowledge Dr. Thitza, who is my research advisor at my home institution, who has taught me all the mathematics that I know now and the mathematics necessary to complete this project. I would also like to acknowledge Mason, who is my lab partner, who has consistently worked with me over the past year and a half to make sure that I have all the necessary tools. I would also like to acknowledge Waymo for providing the data set that will be necessary for completing this project.